is there due to innovation or adopting a new technology then government will say that look your cost mc has decreased so we agreed upon that that we are going to set price is equal to mc so new price is going to be decreased one so that again decrease the profit of the monopoly so that is why it discourages the this pricing discourages the monopolist to go for innovation right guys uh here you go right so then the other thing is then regulators they set the price is equal to every total cost if price is set to every total cost right not the mc what happened here so let me show you the graph here do we have no so let's see our here so we have to produce here this is the q max and this is the every total cost and sorry this is the price if government sets the price is equal to every total cost here what's going on here it sets the price here if government sets the price here then what will happen we see here price drop from here to here still there there is a dead weight loss why because you are producing here and your price drop like this but you are not producing enough for the society plus the monopolies they are not earning any profit as well because price is equal to every total cost so the second practical question is that we say to the monopolies that you keep the price is equal to every total cost and we are going to give you subsidy for example if the price if 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 the monopoly sets the price $15 and government say that okay you charge $12 and $3 we are going to give you subsidy so what do you think where this $3 will, will come from from taxpayers money right so now basically you have spread <clears throat> the dead weight loss to the whole society because this $3 per you know product going to come through the government department and the source of income to the government are the taxes either government will increase the taxes or either government will allocate the uh, you know inefficient resources government allocate the taxpayers money to this particular monopoly firm it means you are also just spreading the debt to the whole society but rather keeping debt weight loss this company it is spread now all over the taxpayers whether the consumer they want to purchase that product or not still the taxes are going to accumulate the monopolist right okay so regulating the behavior is not a good deal right and plus we just forgot one discussion here the antitrust laws <clears throat> so watching the companies there are like hundreds of each day there are more than 1000 you know applications for mergers acquisition is like that so in order to keep watch 
on every merger and acquisition, it is really hard for the government. And government has to set up an institution for monitoring of the monopoly that whether they are, you know, merging with each another or what companies we need to break up. So this government department, they should be paid salaries, right? And salaries are paid taxpayer money, right? So it means in order to watch that there are, you know, monopolies there, or these two firms are, you know, becoming monopolies or not, you have to initiate an institution and you need to hire people and you need to pay salaries and salaries are coming from taxpayer money. So it means dead weight loss is still there. Right? So monopolists already creating dead weight loss. If you watch them, you just transfer dead weight loss from them to the whole society. In case of increasing competition. Number two, regulating the behavior. You are also creating dead weight loss by giving them subsidies. If you are making them charging the price is equal to every total cost, because if you make them to charge price is equal to MC, they will not innovate. They will not embrace innovation because they need to show you higher MC in order to get huge profits. So regulating the behavior is also gonna transfer the dead weight loss to the whole society because it involves taxpayer money. Number third is public ownership. What if the governments turn some private monopolies into government bodies? So rather than regulating the natural monopoly that is run by the private firms, governments can run the monopoly itself. For example, United States government runs the postal services, right? So what are the problems with this one? If government officials do bad job, which is normally the case of in every country, the government processes are very, very slow. And at the end, they increase the cost and the loss is, is fulfilled through taxpayer money. It means it is transferred to the consumers and our taxpayers. If the government acquire the monopoly and make it public and after some time, what happened? They will be doing slow processings, increasing the cost and that and having your losses and that loss is going to be fulfilled by the government taxpayer money. It means you are transferring the dead weight loss from the monopolies to the whole society. And the last option is do nothing. So it's better to live with this kind of imperfection rather than do something and transfer all those imperfection to whole society. So the better idea is do nothing at all, which the government loves to do that. Right guys. So the public policy towards catering the problem of the monopoly is do nothing at all. Because if the government do something, it will create a deadweight loss because it will transfer the deadweight loss from the monopolies to the whole society, to the taxpayers, right? And now the concept of price discrimination. So thanks to the economist, they have devised a concept called price discrimination which is a common practices of the businesses and what it actually does, it reduces the dead weight loss to zero. It provides benefit to the government as well because it will reduce the dead weight loss and to the company, it will increase the profit. What a wonderful concept is that? Whether we, you know, the government should 
do some antitrust bodies no it creates a deadweight loss the government should regulate the behavior no it should create a deadweight loss the government should turn the private monopolies into public companies no it should create a bad deadweight loss what if there is a practical concept that reduces the deadweight loss the government will add its ease plus the companies will be very happy why because it going to increase their profit and that concept name is price discrimination so it is a common business practice of selling the same good at different location with different customers with different prices it means product is the same and it is selling to the same customers but at different sorry different customers same product different customer different prices different places so did you notice price dis discrimination when you are traveling from airplane right we are business class economy class right the plane is same destination is same but different customers same service is going to be offered to you for transporting one place to another place but at different prices cinema they are charging different prices right so price discrimination is not possible when a good is sold in a competitive market why because there are many firms selling at the same market price so the many firms are all already with other parts of the uh, geographical location as well so in order to price discriminate market must have market power which is some kind of monopoly control and monopolies they do have market power so a perfect price discrimination is the concept that is it refers to a situation when monopolist knows exactly the willingness to pay of each customer and can charge each customer a different price so what is the benefit of having monopolies there are two important effects of monopolies discrimination number 1 it increases the monopolist profit and then it reduces the debit loss for a company they are happy for a government they are happy too right so let's talk about this